I think it's about to. Oh, wait a minute. Let me just turn the low frequencies on. Ah, I forgot with this microphone, if I have the frequency response, anything below 300 hertz, it makes me sound horrible, so... Just had to go and fix that. Anyway, I think it's about time we took a look inside this thing. So, let's see what we've got to work with. Well, right here is the socket that I want to disconnect and connect my own thing to. And the trouble is, that seems to be on its own board. I'm a little bit disappointed by that. I was hoping there would be just wires going to the main board or something like that, so I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do there. Well, this is a little bit of a disappointment. Now, I thought that maybe I could break a couple of tracks on the back of the circuit board, which would free up this DIN connection. But, unfortunately, as you can see, there is lots of stuff on the back. Also, one pin on this, which would normally be the left input, is connected to ground. So, that means that adding a DIN input to this is just not going to be. So, I'm just going to put that back and see if I can come up with something else. Right, so, I've decided. What I'm going to do, although it's not quite as elegant, but I got a whole bunch of these, which was left over when we changed the car stereo. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have a few of these just hanging over the side like that. This isn't what I originally wanted to do, but it's about the only choice I have. Like I said, it's not as elegant as what I originally wanted to do, but this is a mod that can be undone without any damage. So, for the output, what I want to do, over here we've got the headphone amplifier, and we've got a few wires running to that. So, we've got a audio cable, which I assume is an unbalanced left and right. Now these two wires, I'm not sure what they are, I'm, but I assume they are supply wires. Hopefully a positive and negative voltage, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap off this wire here. And run a wire going over to the back, where I'm going to hang those cables out. And that should provide us with a line output. And for the input, I'm going to attach my circuit to the um, analog inputs, which are right here. Then put my cables on there. And hopefully, if these are positive and negative supply rails, I mean, you know, positive and negative supply wires, that will go and supply that little circuit with some juice. Well, looks like we've got some good luck because... This is the opposite side of the board where the headphone amplifier connects, and you can see right here, we it is clearly marked. Actually, no, that is the wrong one, but there is one just below it that I saw. I don't know if I can get it into the camera, but that has all the connections marked, and we indeed do have a positive and negative 15 volt supply, so that's what I'm going to do. Right, so, first part of the modification is complete. We now have an unbalanced output, which can be connected to, um, whatever. It's a good thing that wasn't connected to anything, I'm not going to short it out, but... I've got this hooked into my mixing desk, and I've got the tape where it's just, you know, me being stupid, so if we play that, we can hear it. I'm just doing a little right, test. I'll I'll play it. Ow. 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 Yep, this is the test I'm doing. I'm seeing how much punching Ricky can take. Ow. 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 I've got him strapped to a wall right now and I'm punching him. Ow. I'm Ow. not normally this mean. Ow. 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 Mate, what? If you're gonna hit me, at least do it with rhythm. Why well, I won't subject you to too much of that. 
It, the output of this is a little bit low, although it does seem to be coming in quite strongly on the computer. I don't know why, but anyway, we've got our line out. So, so now time for the line in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two inputs out. I will put them back in, but I'm going to solder my circuit onto the pins there. Then put on another set of these. And we'll have an unbalanced line input. Well, it's a bit of a mess, but I think we're done. So this is where our audio is going to come in. This is where our 15 volts is going to go. This is where our negative 15 volts is going to go, and this is the ground. Okay, we're all back in now. Made sure that everything back there is not shorting up. That isn't, so that's good. So I'm going to plug this in, and I just want to take a few voltage measurements. So if we get about 30 volts here and here, that's that'll be a good start. And we do, we have about 30.1 volts, so that's pretty much where I expected it. Right then. Let's see if we have 15 volts between the positive and the case. Yep, 15 volts there. So, so far so good. Hope that wire's not going to short circuit on anything. Let's make sure we've got negative 15 volts here. And we do. Alright, so turn off again. Just making sure each of these wires are what I think they are. And they are so we can connect the little active circuit up to the thing and we'll have our non-balanced input. <laughs> well, I think it's about time to fire it up. Hopefully not literally. I don't know who that is, but I know somebody on YouTube says that. And let's see if this works. I've got my microphone preamp hooked into the new line input that I've put in, the new unbalanced line input. And I've got the output connected to my mixing desk, which is going into the computer. So that's why we're having to use the camera's microphone right now. But anyway, I'll just set the recording level to halfway. Let's turn on. Okay, so far so good. Let's put this on to what is not a good recording. Let's put it on to 48 kilohertz. All right, so I'm going to press record and see if it picks up. So pick up the microphone and yes, it appears to be working. We've got meters. We've got activity on the meters, so that's good. Right, so I'm going to start the computer recording because this should be monitoring as I'm talking, so... I have started the computer recording. So now we're going to make a recording on the DAT and see if this works. So you should be hearing me talking through the DAT as the sound is going through the DAT and getting onto the computer, so... Okay. We are now making a recording. I have no idea how well the VU meters are showing up on the camera because I've got the f-stop set all wrong, but, you know, that's just one of those things. So I am just making a little recording of me saying pretty much absolutely nothing here because I really don't have nothing to say. So, Gonna play this back and let's see what we get. Okay, so I'll switch back to the camera's microphone. Let's just play that back. We view. I'm sure you can hear something. Sounds like it made a recording. Let's play it from there. Okay. We are now making 
a recording. I have no idea how well the VU meters are showing up on the camera because I've got the f-stop set all wrong, but you know, that's just one of those things. So I am just making a little recording of me saying pretty much absolutely nothing here because I really don't have nothing to say. So, gonna play this back and... Well, I think we can call that a success. So all I've got to do is put this back together and that's the end of today's, that's the end of another Cool Dude Clems Electronic Workshop episode, even if things didn't go exactly according to plan. Now, it looks like the wires are being pinched between the back and the case. Um, they're actually not. They're being crimped more than anything else. So there is a little bit of a gap which is there from the factory, which is pretty much a blessing in disguise and this modification is completely undoable without any damage electronically or to the case. I can just unsolder all of that and it'll be back to, you know, the way it came out of the factory. Until next time, goodbye. I'm just doing a little test on Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Yep, this is the test I'm doing. I'm seeing how much punching Ricky can take. Ow, 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 ow. I got him strapped to a wall right now and I'm punching him. Ow, ow. Ow, 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 mate. What? If you're gonna hit me, at least do it with rhythm. Oh, okay then, Ricky. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, wait a minute. This is really fat. Sounds just like my music. Ow, 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 I'm gonna get down to this. <laughs> Ricky, did you have to throw up while I was punching you?